Welcome friends. Today we are going to make the most viewed pancake recipe on YouTube. So let's get searching. And we'll filter that by view count. And here we go. How to make the best pancakes in the world by Kind Katox, 17 million views. Let's take a look. Oh my. <laughs> so that song, that's a traditional Scottish folk song called The Parting Glass. It's like the saddest song in the world. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first in are some eggs. Pancakes, generally not my thing. Um, Jules and I are more waffle people. And uh, when we do have pancakes, we have a variation on a Nordic pancake or a pancake that we ate a lot when we lived in Thunder Bay in Northern Ontario. And they're really thin, they're almost crepes. They're fantastic. Uh, this looks like it's completely different, thick and fluffy. Into the egg goes some milk. And now we just beat this together. I think that's enough. Next, the recipe asks for self-raising flour. Um, that's not really a thing where we live. Um, when you go to the grocery store here, well, any of the grocery stores here, um, there's one brand of self-raising flour and it's in a tiny little bag. Um, I've never seen it in a regular size bag and I've never seen any other brands except for that one brand. So we're just using regular all purpose and we are upping the amount of baking powder um, that they asked to put in to compensate. So that goes in and then the sugar goes in as well. And they don't mix any of that together beforehand. They just dump it all in. And I guess that's because we're gonna continue mixing with the hand mixer. So far, really simple, pretty straightforward. Um, the recipe at this point says to leave this on the counter for an hour to rise. So um, I'll see you in an hour. Now the next instruction is to stir this down. So um, quite a bit of gas in this. The baking powder really went to town and we've got a pretty thick batter. It also says that if you think it's too thick, to add a little bit more milk. But how thick is too thick? I don't know. That seems pretty good. Now I've got a cast iron fry pan here and we're just gonna heat that up to medium. Now the instructions say to put a piece of butter in a serviette and then rub it over. Uh, um, I find serviette to be a very funny word. It's a word that we use here in Canada quite a bit. Um, I, I just can't do it. So I've melted a bit of butter, I've got a brush, and I'm just gonna brush it on. If you don't wanna use butter, you could use oil. Um, but I have to agree with the video. I think butter really is the fat of choice. Now, it then says to turn the heat all the way up to high. Uh, depending on your Stove top, you might get away with that. Uh, this stove top, that would just be way too hot. The butter would burn really quickly. So now we put on a dollop of batter.
Okay, so here we have a stack of pretty fluffy looking pancakes. I'm gonna hit that with a little bit of maple syrup. And we'll give them a taste and see if they are the best pancakes in the world. See if they can deliver on all of that promise. Light, fluffy, a little bit of sweetness, a um, little bit of sweetness from the sugar that's in them, and of course from the maple syrup. Um, they are pretty much what was promised. I mean, they are, they are thick, they're fluffy, they're light. I can't really judge whether they're the greatest pancakes ever because I'm not a pancake person. But, you know, if you put these in front of me, I'd eat them. Um, not really something that I think I would make for myself, though. I would still go for a very thin finish pancake or a crepe um, before I ordered something like this. But they are quite good. And I mean, 17 million views. Somebody likes them. Um, I'm going to keep eating because, you know, I've made them now and it's breakfast time. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.